name is Funke Bella, aka Mrs. Fabulous, aka Fabulous Funke, one and only wife of MC Tunde Bella. Welcome to my kitchen. If this is your first time today, welcome. <laughs> However, if you've been here before and you're a returning customer, I don't worry, I don't worry. Thank you for coming back again. Thank you. So today we're going Eastern and I want to give you my twist or show you my twist on Ugu. Ugu is a, a fluted pumpkin leaves and it's a favorite vegetable in Nigeria, especially in the Eastern part of Nigeria. The Southerners have sort of borrowed Ugu and we all enjoy Ugu together. Ugu is rich in iron, really, really rich in iron. You can even eat raw Ugu, drink Ugu juice to top up your iron levels. It, ugu is one of those vegetables that you can go to like that to pick up your energy. So today I'll show you my twist on Ugu. Stay tuned. Okay, so to make our Ugu today, Ugu vegetable soup today, these are the ingredients we'll be using. I'm not going to be making it like a Dikai Kong which you would add other vegetables. I'm just sticking to ugu because I'm after the iron in ugu in this dish. So this is why I'm just sticking to ugu. And this is ugu. These are the ugu vegetable leaves. Uh, there are different types of vegetables. So, but this particular one is fluted pumpkin leaves. Uh, there you go. And the chairman of this occasion is goat meat. I goat meat. Hmm, it's going to be singing hallelujah in this dish, but I didn't want goat meat to feel lonely and to just feel left out on the high table. Hence, I've got shaki, bokoto, abodi, momo, etc., etc., and this other bowl. And I would um boil both of them together. And I've got some palm oil. You need palm oil. You only need a little bit of palm oil for this dish compared to if you're making a furry roll. And I've got dried stock fish. I don't know if it's smoked or dried, but it's stock fish. And this is smoked or dried catfish. Somebody please remind me in the comment section are these things smoked or dried? I've thrown the packaging away. And this is crayfish. Okay, so you're also going to need pepper, scotch bonnet pepper, and onions. This I'll be uh, chopping later. And you also need some dried pepper and seasoning, seasoning cubes, seasoning cubes. Don't forget salt. Salt, you need some salt. You only need a little bit of salt. We need to remember that we shouldn't eat too much salt. Sometimes I get carried away by my use of salt but we have to remember salt just a little bit of salt will go a very long way so these are the ingredients i'll show you my method so the first thing i'm going to do is to add the chairman of today's occasion which is my goat meat i've washed it thoroughly so i'm just gonna add it in the pot first And then I'll add the other members of the high table, which is the pomosha kit, etc., in the pot as well. And then I'll put some seasoning. So I'll put to cook it, I'll put, I think I'll just put uh, three seasoning cubes. This much salt is enough don't need too much salt and then some onions that i chopped earlier that goes in so at this point add some water you don't need a lot of water because uh, this dish is dryish it's not you don't want too much water in it so add a little bit of water you can always put a little bit more if you don't get um, a lot of juice from the cooking meat. Actually, maybe I'll put a little bit more. I can always take it out of the juice. But this, this should cook it well, properly. So, do that. Put the lid on it. 
and cook it till it's all tender and that will take about 20 minutes at least for my kind of tender so i'm going to pluck the ugu leaves off the stem and unlike when you have a fresh spinach ugu leaves you only want the leaves that that much you don't want to pluck the whole stem with the leaf you just want the leaf the leaf the leaf Okay, I'll carry on like that till I've plucked all of them. And once I've plucked all of them, I'll rinse the leaves first before I begin to finally chop them. So, stay with me. Okay, so now my ugu leaves have been plucked and thoroughly washed. I lost my uh, arrangements when I was plucking, when I was arranging them to face the same direction i lost that when i was rinsing it so i'm just arranging it again so all the leaves are facing the same direction and this part of this assignment if you need a chair please sit down because you need to really farabale which is what is farabale in english if you know it could you please put it in the comment section what is farabale in english some things can't be translated you need to really calm down and finely chop this, finely slice it. Ugu, it, it feels like it's a, an assignment for a machine to do in 2020 actually, but I'm just gonna use a, a knife. You, use your sharpest knife and use a chopping board and finely chop, slice. Make it as thin as possible. very thin if you grew up in nigeria try and picture how those boys used to do it in the market very thin super extra thin like this thin look fine really thin take your time because this will make a big difference in what your pot is going to feel like also, the reason why we wash the leaves before we begin to slice them is because we're going to end up losing half of the iron if we slice it at this point because you can easily juice ugu. So from this point now, it's going straight in the sauce once the sauce is ready. So keep finely slicing. Okay, so look. Just look at it look at this beauty finely chopped ugu hand chopped neo i didn't use the food processor or no chopper machine i i finally chopped it with a knife and a chopping board so that's what you get so set that aside and this would be a good time to check on on the chairman and the special guests of today's occasion and they look like they're having a good time so it's also reducing nicely. I'll leave it for a little longer till it's completely reduced. I don't want all this juice. Or maybe I'll take the juice out. Leave the juice or take the juice out. I'll check if the meat is done. I'll leave. I'll take the juice out. It looks like the meat are nearly done. I'm just gonna give it, give them five more minutes to fully cook, just to be a little bit more tender. But in that five minutes gap, I'm going to toss in the smoked catfish and the smoked uh, stockfish so i just rinsed it in warm water and i'm gonna press it in now just so it, it can get tender as well and it can get some of the meaty juice so i'm gonna try and move the stockfish underneath and leave everything else at the top just so they can have a good time together so there we go so it's nearly done it's really reduced put the lid back on and give it five more minutes at this point i'm just going to chop up some more onions and some scotch bonnet pepper so i'm not using my hand to chop this time not anymore i think i've done my bit for the knife planet I 
Okay, so the onions are done. I'm going to do the scotch bonnet peppers. So you can put as much or as little pepper, whatever you can handle. I don't like pepper so much, but this dish feels like it needs a little bit of a kick. So hence, I'm imagine if I was chopping scotch bonnet pepper with my hand. Why would I want to chop scotch bonnet pepper with my hand? There you go. Okay, so now our meat are ready. Meat is ready. Meats are ready. And we're going to add the next ingredient, which is the palm oil. And add your scotch bonnet pepper so it can cook a little bit. I forgot to show you this earlier. This is locust beans. This is iru. So there's no Nigerian vegetable without some sort of iru in it. The Easterners have a different one, but this is the one I, I use. So that goes in as well. You can actually put your crayfish now as well. Let it all simmer together. And sort of give it like a fry up. Mix it all thoroughly together. Put the lid on and leave it for a little bit, maybe about five, 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 six minutes. If you're still here with me. Oh, thanks. I know you like that pot, so it's definitely a good time to click on that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, should I give it a gong? Oh, you will subscribe by yourself. Okay. Please subscribe so you can see more videos like this on this channel. Thank you. Okay. This is certainly a good time to check on your, on the development of um, the process. Okay. Looks like we're getting there. Look. We're really getting there, aren't we? So, I would advise at this point to taste I think we're good on seasoning we're good on seasoning that's for sure uh, and the kick I think we might be able to get away with a little bit more pepper just a little bit remember pepper to your capacity capabilities hmm? Okay, so at the good point, just because I've added the pepper, I'm just gonna give it five seconds or oh, not five seconds, maybe one minute for the pepper to simmer in, and I'll mix it thoroughly just so I don't bite into the lump of pepper. So I'll cover it and leave it just for one more minute, and I think that bit is ready. So it's been one minute, I don't want it any longer than that, it doesn't need to be any longer than that. So I'm just going to check it again here. Yeah, I'm happy. Because we don't test try And next I add the chopped onions. Here that in. Chopped onions gone in. And last we're going to add our, remember, finely sliced ugu leaves. I'll give it five seconds, no, one minute to steam up and I'll turn the heat off. So ladies and gentlemen, the heat is off and our ugu vegetable soup is ready. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, so we're now done. Our ugu soup, which had the chairman of goat's meat and some other assorted meat. I've served it with some nice rolled up eba. Just a little bit of eba will do. Because summer body needs to load. Whether 2021 
or 2025. This summer body will eventually load. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.